you? Yeah. Right, this is lecture two on probability theory, and it's just, first off we're doing some properties. These are just basic things, you'll probably know them from A-level or GCSE, something like that. Right, now first, say, this, that's, uh, say that this is a probability space, omega, f, and p, and a and b are both in f, then the probability that it's not a, which is this represented by this dash, is 1 minus the probability that it is. Does that make sense? Uh, the probability that nothing happens is nothing, surprisingly. Uh, if a is a subset of b, then the probability of a is less than or equal to the probability of b. These are just very boring, roll well off the tongue. Uh, probability that it's B not A is a probability of B minus the probability of A. The probability of A union B is the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B, N B. Right. A theorem. Uh, once again, this is our probability space, and we have A1, uh, A2 going all the way up to infinity. Our elements of F, and this is the same for B. Uh, if A1 is a subset of A2, is a subset of A3, so on, then we can say that the probability of uh, U, union, from I is 1 to infinity of AI is the same as saying the limit from N to infinity of the probability of AN. Yeah, we can say this because it's going all the way up and they're all subsets. <coughs> Here, I've got a backwards C, this means belongs. So if B1 belongs to B2, belongs to B3, so on, then we can say this, uh, probability of N, so it's like N, uh, it's not really an N, it's the upside down U, uh, from I is 1 to infinity of BI, is the limit from N is to infinity of uh, P, probability of BN. Now, this may not make much sense, but I've got an example make it a bit clearer. Right, we toss the coin an infinite number of times and we want the chance, what's the probability, that there is no head. Yeah? So, first off we have to write down the probability we've got no heads. It's just, uh, make it look, makes it look a bit neater in your working. Uh, next we have the event, so we have our AN, which is our probability even, that at least one head in the first n tosses, so the first n being any number. So sometimes the easiest way to solve this is to do the opposite. So here, what we've done, we've found the probability that it's not a, so that there is not at least one head. And this is 2 to the minus n. Uh, with a head there's two sides, obviously. Uh, so the first chance is a half, the second one's a quarter. Every time it goes up, we're doing it to the minus n. Right, now we want the event that we have a head eventually, so this is like in the, in the previous slide, we have it from the union of i is 1 to infinity of a n, which is here, so it's going up, and we can change this a bit using the formula we had before, I'm going to have to slide off, the probability of u of i is 1 to infinity of a n, remember this is the same as writing the limit, n goes to infinity, of the probability a n, and what do we know about a n? That uh, from the previous slide, uh, the probability of a n is one minus the probability that it isn't a n, so one minus two to the minus n, and as n goes to infinity here, this gets smaller and smaller and smaller until it disappears, and it's one. Now what we've done, we've found the opposite, like I said, and. So what we have to do, we have to have 1 minus it. So the probability, if you flop, if, uh, flip a coin an infinite number of times, what are the chances of no head? Well, it's zero. But you knew that anyway.